Hi, I'm Kira K. Dixon from Golf Advisor. I'm a TV host and happy Women's Golf Day. So my dad introduced me to the game of golf at three years old. We went on a vacation to Florida and my parents really thought that golf was an American rite of passage. They're Russian immigrants. So we picked up the game of golf and uh, because of that, I started playing very seriously as a junior golfer up until about high school, uh, then stopped for a while and uh, found it again later in life. And because I started so young, I had the fundamental skills and now I'm just trying to figure it out like most golfers out there. There are so many incredible women in, in golf, specifically from Julie Inkster to Michelle Wee, um, Annika Sorenstam and everybody in between. Michelle in particular has been a wonderful influence for me in my golf career and just somebody that I can bounce things off of and have that support from. And, and I'm so thankful to her and just the, what she's accomplished has been absolutely incredible. Uh, and then out, outside of the golf world, uh, Sage Steele uh, from ESPN is one of my biggest roles models career-wise, life-wise. Uh, she's just a, a wonderful human and uh, inspires me to be better and to um, pursue my dreams fearlessly and uh, that if you work hard enough that you, that you can achieve it, everything. I'd advise other women to play because it, it's done incredible things for my life, so I can only imagine that it will do incredible things for others. Uh, it's a sport that you can play for your entire life and it levels the playing field. You know, if you can walk out onto the golf course confidently, uh, then, then you can participate in a whole different culture uh, and environment that normally you would be shut out of. So if you can participate, uh, and you don't have to be an amazing golfer, you just have to be able to hang a bit, uh, then, then you can be a part of the conversations that happen on the golf course. Uh, I'd have to say my best golf related memory is probably making the cut at the AT&T Pro-Am. Uh, it was an epic life experience and I'll, I'll never forget running off the 18th green into the CBS tent where Amanda Balionis was interviewing me and she told me on camera that I'd made the cut and I did this whole happy dance and it was uh, one of the greatest moments that uh, I'll ever have in golf but I also love the, the community and the friendships, especially in the female golf community that I've made uh, in the golf world and the trips that we've taken together and uh, the things that we do outside of just, just playing on the course uh, has have given me some of the best memories and the best friends. And I'm so lucky to be able to share my love of golf with them. Oh my gosh, golf has taught me so much. Um, I think that golf has taught me to just be kinder to myself. Uh, and that, you know, letting things go is the best way to be able to approach the next shot or the next thing in life with a clear, clear mind and a, a good perspective. Uh, I think that that's what good golfers do. If they hit a bad shot, they don't hold on to it, they let it go. And you can apply that lesson to life. And although it's sometimes easier said than done, I think golf has certainly taught me that lesson. I think that we've all experienced our fair share of struggles and successes. I think when it comes to golf, golf media, and working in this industry, it's, especially in the beginning, it's hard to find your place, where you fit in. It's such a small community. Um, so to be able to break in and feel like you're a part of it and that you don't have imposter syndrome, that you do deserve to be there, that you should be uh, doing the things that you that you care about and that you love. Um, those those have been some of my, my struggles. and. It's been really wonderful to find a place for myself and to say, you know what, I should be doing this. I am doing the right thing. And I'm so thankful to the golf community for accepting me. And um, it just kind of goes back to, it's, you know, you think more to yourself that they're not accepting you, but really that's not the case. Uh, so you shouldn't let that be a barrier to entry of just starting the game, just like I shouldn't let it be a barrier to entry to pursuing my dreams and goals in the golf world. Thank you.